certainly led Charlton and Merry Dance recently, and he's left Ashley Cole on his backside. With a very encouraging uh, contribution there. Yeah, he nearly put his head out at Ashley Cole there, didn't he? <laughs> Goodness me. Player Cam, if you're a Sky Digital viewer, is pointing at Cristiano. And, uh, Phil Neville giving uh, Ronaldo a chance to express himself again. Vieira trying to get across. This time he just pushed it too far. Had the young player from Portugal. Well, that's what he's going to do. He's going to attract another player over towards him every time, whether it be Patrick Vieira, Freddie Jungberg, or Fuss. Ronaldo. That's a short Porto. He brings him down. <laughs> I'm not, he won't be the last. He gets out wicked like this. It's ridiculous. Good night, but the uh, wonderful weather of recent months has returned. Gigs. Ronaldo taking on three. He's put some hands on uh, Jungberg there. And Steve Bennett. He's bedded into the game well himself. A little uh, extra pressure on his uh, broad shoulders today. Sylvester looking for the diagonal. I think Giggs might have been his target. Maybe I've done himself uh, an injustice, but he's found Ronaldo. Look, look at the air straight away, man. That's the captain. Straight over as soon as the ball travelled. But they've conceded the free kick when two against one in that corner. Could have done a bit more judicious. This is a lovely ball, I have to say. I think that was his target. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And Vienna gets himself right over there right away. Yeah. A little nice in April. Well, the crowd now are very much uh, roaring. I missed the one. So Keon did stay on his face, he might have matched it and missed the world end. But anyway, Manchester United got the ball back and spread it wide. Ronaldo isolating Cole just for a moment. And he's uh, managed to get across coming it. from the edge of the area for Manchester United. O'Shea is one of them. And it's uh, met by the fists of Jens Lehmann. And now raises an arm for an offside, hesitates with the error. He's got to be careful on the edge of the area. Rick. Ronaldo, who's given go with Philip Neville. Torre roaring across, but Ronaldo will get there first. Fortune has joined Giggs and Van Nistelrooy in the centre. Dangerous game there. He just about got away with that again. It's hugely confident. Ronaldo on the run. Vieira trying to stay with it. Torre certainly stuck with Van Nistelrooy. Arsene Wenger is very pleased with Carlo Torre for the record. Ronaldo wants it from Giggs. Swept in the cross. Oh. Oh. Comes out to Fortune. Keane. Fortune. Keane again. Couldn't find a way through. He's slipping down, Colo Toro, but he's still got his head to the ball. Real momentum behind Manchester United now. And Lehman slows them down. I'll tell you what I like about Ronaldo, Martin. I think people have said that he might not know when to cross it, when to run at people. There's two great examples where he hasn't needed to take anybody. You're remembering all those many great goals you scored from crosses. And I'm remembering what great teams do that I've watched in the last 10 years and will watch this year do at times as well. <laughs> I mean the Real Madrid's and Juventus's and Manchester United's of this world, they all cross the ball. Phil Neville. Whipping it wide. Ronaldo. Oh, another variation on his game. But it's just up to tempo slightly, haven't they? In the last five or six players on the pitch, they've got to be patient. They've got to keep doing the things. Because, you know, so often one goal wins these kind of matches. And there's the rule. Ronaldo. Turned his back. Nicole, what it struck, Ronaldo had a closer view than we did up here. I mean, it may have hit the arm, but he does turn his back on it. It does hit the hand, in fact, but, you know, I'm, I'm fully in agreement with it. It's been a good spell for Manchester United. Can they crown it with a goal? And Lehman uh, didn't deal with the outswing on the ball. 
Just as well his captain did. For him to cool down. Ronaldo. Well, I think when, when this boy learns the game and gets a bit more experience, he's going to be an unbelievable threat. Showing that he can go both ways, left and right, he's comfortable. He does have a little look round, yeah, though, doesn't obviously, it? yeah. <laughs> Ronaldo. Anticipation by Gilberto led to the interception. No camp. Worked hard in the first half. And, uh, caught by uh, Fortune coming back. To the Robert Perez. It's time for Van Nistelrooy to collect. And it's time to pick out Ronaldo here. Kicks far post. Good handling by Lane. It bounced just in front of it. I don't think he's going to score from here. Yeah. Both uh, Toure and Keogh. And after Arsenal have begun, uh, the quicker of the two sides at the restart. Manchester United coming on strong now. Vieira. I wouldn't suggest you go and make a cup of tea in the near future, I tell you. <laughs> well, let's say you'd need a television in the kitchen. Yeah. Just a United free kick. On a day when the first goal is looking uh, vitally important. Keane can take a touch and shoot if he wants. Opts to go to Ronaldo instead. Cole couldn't stop the cross. And others... It's a free kick to Manchester United. I thought it was a signal from the assistant. I thought it was a clumsy one from for their efforts here at Old Trafford today. Ronaldo. Keown is their first incident that provoked a reaction by Sol Campbell in that game. It's the one piece of disciplinary action that's still hanging over that fixture in August. But we haven't finished with the disciplinary action here. Ronaldo, the other side of the game, their disciplinary record, of course, is, uh, is very good. One just, just one player sent off all last season. That was Roy Keane. Cole is down. The game is not stopped. So they're down to nine men, Arsenal. Well, I'm not quite sure where to start, man. <laughs> As I've said, Arsene Wenger will have his say.